Since its first release back in 2015, Character Creator has shaped up to be one of the most complete and most powerful character creation tools on the market. From its simple and streamlined workflow to its compatibility with almost all 3D software out there. Character Creator from Illusion has become a force to be reckoned with in the industry, and today we're gonna talk about it. Mainly the new face tools update for ZBrush because I think it opens up infinite possibilities for artists who want to save time and create more dynamic animations and characters. The reason I used the word dynamic instead of realistic is because if you ever used Character Creator before, you know that it has the ability to work with a full range from stylized to hyper realistic characters, and face tools is no different. You can seamlessly transfer core expressions, adjust mesh and wrinkles, polypaint details, and go back and forth between Character Creator and ZBrush in a way which I think just makes a lot of sense and should help you save a ton of time. This makes me think about what else can we do with this dynamic linking? Would we be able in the future to seamlessly go from one software to the next or back and forth like between Maya for instance and Substance, ZBrush or heck maybe Blender in real time? That would actually be amazing. Spoiler alert, Character Creator actually can move and has a dynamic link with almost all major 3D tools like Substance Painter with a click of a button. But let's not get distracted here. Face Tools, this new plugin, is a complement to the Pose Tools and Pose Link add-on, which also allows you to easily transfer poses between Character Creator and ZBrush for more efficient workflow. And Face Tools works very much the same, with of course a lot of features that focus on the head mesh, morphs, blend shapes, expressions, and so on. On the Face Tools landing page, you can see four main features listed: base model sculpting, custom expressions, wrinkle patterns and 3D scan and stylized pipeline. Well, we'll touch on these briefly to see what the fuss is all about. But first, if you want to try Character Creator 4 and dive test face tools, you can do that for free. Character Creator 4, which from now on I'm gonna refer to as CC4, offers a free 30 day trial that will allow you to install the face tools plugin for free as well. To install CC4 and Face Tools, you will need to install the Reillusion Hub first. From there, you can find both products and make sure you install both of them. On the add-ons page, pick ZBrush Face Tools and click Install. Now in Character Creator, select a CC3 Plus character model, then click Face Tools button. A pop-up will appear, prompting you to install the ZBrush plugin. Click Yes to proceed the installation, which will ask about which version of ZBrush you are using. Simple stuff. Finally, you can hit Go Z button to send your character to ZBrush. Now, first things first. Face Tools allows you to quickly deploy look development using Character Creator base models by exporting the base head model to ZBrush. The seamless export will automatically convert Character Creator head meshes to ZBrush subtools and also convert all textures, like the views to polypaint and CC normal maps to ZBrush displacement. In addition to that, Face Tools of course offers a perfect workflow to craft convincing and realistic and stylized expressions, allowing you to capture unique personalities easily by transferring core expressions to ZBrush. All the 13 core expressions will be sent to ZBrush as fully editable layers, as well as facial elements including eyes, teeth, and tongue. They can be adjusted and turned to conform to the shape of each core morph so you can think about how easily you can make an exaggerated expression as you have the basic expression already in place. Also the ease in which you can apply the squash and stretch effect. Furthermore, the texture baking and export workflow allows you to achieve dynamic wrinkles by allowing you to bake not only morph shapes but textures as well. The latter can be easily used with expression settings in CC. For instance, when you raise the eyebrows wrinkles of the character, the normal map will be more visible when you smile, and more wrinkles will show up next to the mouth. And this is not geometry, just textures, pretty powerful stuff, right? So, a Face Tools plugin workflow would look like something like this. First, you import a neutral character to build from, or you can pick one from the Content Manager. You can take advantage of all the morphs available on CC4, which allows you to customize virtually anything. 
These are gonna help you to easily customize the appearance of your character. Now, to send your character to the Face Tools plugin, you can do so through multiple ways. Either by using the dedicated button in the Modify panel, or the Face Tools button in your toolbar, or the plugin menu at the top under ZBrush Face Tools. In ZBrush, you can find Face Tools under the Z plugin menu. From there, you can expand the subtool and see all the parts of the face that you edit in ZBrush. All normal maps will be converted to displacement in ZBrush. So, to edit the general shape of your mesh, it is better to set your geometry to a lower subdivision level. However, once sculpting surface details, you have to enable your detail layer and don't forget to hit record to assign these details to the layer and subsequently bake them into CC normal map later. When you finish sculpting, you can go ahead and click the update to character creator button, which will invoke the export prompt. Here you have two option buttons, base update and expression and wrinkles update. In this case, if you just adjust the base model, then you can disable the expression and wrinkles section. For instance, if you sculpt face details, you can keep only the details to the normal option under base texture. Back in CC, you'll notice that your mesh has been updated with all the new details and textures, just like that with a push of a button. Well, there was a few steps in between, but you get the idea. And this is a general workflow. You push your model to ZBrush, you adjust facial features or paint some details, and you apply those changes basically in real time to your character. Now, when it comes to polypaint the workflow, it is pretty much the same. All you need to do is hit polypaint from texture button under polypaint tab. Now go crazy and paint any details you want on your character. The sky is the limit. And at the end, all you need to do is hit the update button. However, this time, pick the polypaint to the views option under base update. You can also pick texture resolution and click update to CC. To see how versatile the tool is after you hit the update button, you will be sent back to CC where you'll be prompted with the Gozi option, which will allow you to, among other options, apply head color to the whole body. That means that the additional colors you added to the head are gonna be automatically matching to the whole body. And you can just think of how time consuming this process would be if you did it traditionally. Think about the amount of data. You're gonna have to manually manage setting keys, setting up expression data, masking, and so much more. That's why this tool is so useful. You can save time and just focus on what's important. And all that technical export shenanigan can be handled in the background by the software.